Hello guys. Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best sport earbuds 2021. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The sport earpieces are smaller than the quiet comfort earpieces, side by side the difference in size is notable, but that doesn't mean the sport earbuds themselves aren't a bit bulky. The earphones are available in black, blue, or gray slash yellow models, and they ship with a charging case that's also on the bigger side. The in-ear fit is quite secure, as the earpieces use combination ear tips and ear fins that twist into place and stay put. Three silicone pairs in small, medium, and large sizes are included, and the fit feels lightweight. Like the more expensive QC earbuds, the Sport earbuds have a modest IPX4 rating for water resistance, they can handle light splashes, light rain. The Vista earbuds are straightforward to look at but their simplicity belies a brilliantly stripped-down design. Instead of just tacking a silicon ear tip onto the end of the earbud, the Vistas use a fully connected casing with ear tip and wing tip, for fitting into the inside and upper edge of your ear, respectively. That means you're not fiddling with several different parts, while the connected design prevent either water or your own corrosive sweat from getting into the drivers. The Vista earbuds are rated at IPX7 water resistance, meaning they can deal both with a downpour or a brief dip in up to 1 meter of water, though we wouldn't really recommend them for swimming. You get three different sizes for the connected ear tips, with one removing the wing tip entirely, making for a less secure fit, but increasing the comfort for more casual listening sessions where you're not sprinting around a track. The Jaybird Vista earbuds are also brilliantly compact. The standard Elite 75T fit in my ears just fine and I had no trouble running with them. The Active 75T slightly grippier finish is supposed to help them stay in your ears slightly more securely when you're sweating. I do like the finish a tad better on the Elite Active 75T, but I'm not sure it's worth an extra $20. Notice that I'm using words like slightly, a touch, and a tad to describe the subtle differences between the two models, because they really are subtle. The two models have the same features and appear to sound the same. You can read about those features in more depth in my review of the Elite 75T, but the quick skinny on the Elite Active 75T is that, thanks to a 20% smaller design than the Elite Active 65T, this new model should fit more ears better and let most people get a tight seal with one of the various sizes of included ear tips. The earphones offer good passive noise isolation that reduces ambient noise but not active noise cancelling, if you do get a tight seal, sound quality is quite good, smooth with good detail and well-defined bass that has some oomph to it. It may not sound quite as refined or open as the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 or the Sony WF-1000XM3, but it's very good for true wireless earbuds. The equally rugged Jaybird Vista costs a little less, it's down to around $160, and really locks into your ears, thanks to its sports fins. I like the Jaybird and rated it highly, but this jobber sounds a little more detailed and is better for making calls. The Earfun Air Pro are the product of a company that wants to set its products apart from the likes of the Apple AirPods. The build is angular and industrial, though still comfortable while providing a tight seal against the ear canal. We generally found that these buds were comfortable, but during longer listening sessions they began to chafe. This will vary from listener to listener, though, and you do get a range of ear tips included in the box. Being slightly bulkier than some other earbuds means there's room for a relatively large battery in each bud, and allows the microphone to be positioned closer to the mouth for clearer calls. There are drawbacks too of course, the larger footprint means that the charging case is slightly larger than we'd like. Though it will easily fit in loose jeans, it isn't quite on the same level as the Galaxy Buds with their tiny The Beats Powerbeats Pro are the next logical step for Apple's series of workout-focused headphones, true wireless earbuds are the way of the future, 
and since the launch of the PowerBeats Pro, Apple has expanded its output to include the noise-canceling AirPods Pro. While Apple could have churned out a half-decent, sweat-resistant pair of wireless earbuds and called it a day, the PowerBeats Pro are something special, they're supremely comfortable, sound decent and seem to never, ever fall out. They might not be the best true wireless earbuds in Apple's audio arsenal now that the AirPods Pro are here, but they are Apple's most premium play into the world of running headphones, and are the buds we'd recommend to most workout enthusiasts. In terms of design, there's a lot to like about the new PowerBeats Pro, it has a sport look to it, while still being practical enough to wear around outside the gym. On each of the two earbuds the PowerBeats Pro have a center playback control button where the Beats logo is, plus a volume rocker, 